Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm Chris, and today we are checking out another beer from White Birch. This is their Oak Age Triple, and um, it's definitely, they have a regular triple, which I've had, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I think it may be one of the better beers White Birch puts out. This one, as it says on the side, um, with this batch, our triple undergoes a period of rye oak aging. This makes the weight longer, but we love how the oak adds additional flavors and complexity to the beer. We feel the weight is well worth it. Um, I have had this once before. My memory of it is a little bit hazy. It was a little bit late. And, uh, but the one thing we do remember is that it was really, really good. So, uh, without much ado, we're going to get into it here. And as always, they put the uh, information right in the label. So this one was bottled on in uh, April of 2011. Um, it is batch one and it had a bottle count of uh, 1,335 and it's 9.5% alcohol by volume. So this is pouring a really nice, you know, hazy, bright straw yellow. And it's got, it's got about two fingers of just a really nice, bright, white, creamy looking head. That's a really, really nice looking triple. Yeah, it's, first thing I'm noticing right now is just those, you know, the big sort of Belgian esters that you get from the yeast. You know, it's, it's definitely, it's, it's not very, you know, there's not too many strong, uh, sort of those, some, like the spicier, um, Belgian notes. You're not getting that. It just seems to be really subdued. There's a little bit of the oak character coming through on the nose. Um, but you know, it just, it's kind of, um, it's almost kind of soft, if that makes any sense. Um, none, you know, none of the pop, the fl uh, excuse me, none of the scents are really just cutting through and overpowering the other. Um, it seems to be blended real nice. So, let's uh, get into it. Cheers. That's fantastic. You start the first thing you're noticing, sort of those. Um, like the Belgian yeast qualities, um, you know, they sort of like that real, real fruity kind of ester to them, you know, um, but then just that rye oak quality from the barrel aging blends in real nicely and it's just a treat to drink. So overall, this is just a really nice drinking beer. The carbonation spot on for it. You don't taste too much of the alcohol for nine and a half percent. It's relatively hidden in there. You do feel, you know, there is that warming effect that it has. But overall, this is just a really, really nice, really easy drinking beer for the nine and a half percent. I think the oak, uh, that rye oak aging, just adds a whole different layer of complexity into an already fantastic, uh, fantastic triple that's made by White Birch. So. If you can find these white birch uh, in your area, these are just well worth trying to pick up and enjoy. So with that said, I'm going to keep enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying something as well, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.